three onto the seven as an offside plan. That's what I'm going to risk. Let me just get rid of the one and the two. Now I'm going to move the camera up there and explain what might be going on. Now, let's take a look at this. Now I'm going to be hitting this three onto this right hand side, which means hopefully the six still pots it throws into the pocket i'm going to try and control the three near the pocket as well oh i'm under pressure now because i've just explained that for a minute i don't want to butcher this do i oh stop it and there you see there you see let me get the camera back up where she belongs and that is the outcome of that shot i've just played i need the extension i can't reach that Obviously, when I'm filming this type of video, Carlito's way, you'll often see the video speed up and slow down. That's because you don't want to see me walking around the table, do you? Oh, anywhere, 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 anywhere in the middle of the table. We say anywhere, you don't want to be straight, do you? If you land straight, you're not going to get on the five. So you want a little bit of angle. Eight ball's a little funny ball there, because if you leave it in this area, after potting it there, you've got to sort of slide below. I'm talking rubbish. Just go here. This is the problem. I'm trying to explain to you guys on camera. I'm talking myself out of it. I still can't reach this. This is a stretch. This could go wrong. I wouldn't advise ever doing this. Well, that's okay. That is okay. Is it okay? Yes. Now, two options. Stun it in off this side rail for the gap, which looks pretty okay-ish. Or do we just float it in and follow the cue ball into the nine to hold it? I'm gonna float it, could be the wrong shot. But the way I feel, and I'll keep harping on about it, I just feel like it's better for me, the way I feel. Yeah, I was happy with that decision. It's good decision making. Always try and make a decision on how you feel at the table at that specific time, even though it might come across to the general public or the commentators there's a bit of a weird shot, but what am I doing here? I'm going to have to play this left-handed. I can't even find a bridge in this gaff. I'm playing it lefty. Anywhere up top end of the table, but straight. You don't want to be scratching. I'm going to come in a straight line. Again, because I'm playing it lefty, this just changes the shot a little bit, and I'm going to get rid of that. don't know if I've still got that on the table. All right, let's go. Oh, this feels weird. I'm not bad lefty. I can sort of just get by putting a ball. Oh, well, you've got to be happy with this. You have got to be happy with this. That's just lovely. There we see what we're doing. That's okay. Little stop shot, I'll draw it back. I'm going to draw it back, because I can't be bothered walking around. Do you ever do that? Just play a lazy shot, because you can't be bothered walking. This nine ball. I'm a three to up. What a turn of events. That was the one. And look at that, got kicked. Well, that was a good break. You could see the cue ball go square across. Just got a nasty kick, but that's not bad when you're playing the ghost because no shot means ball in hand. I'm gonna be a little bit careful here because if I overdraw it, I might end up here. So I want to be here, don't I? So this needs to be a, a little bit careful. Oh, stop it. Get me back on tour. 
that needs to slow down. Very powerful that, because I've just realized I've left the extension on. Silly boy. I can feel myself warming up, oh yeah. Don't want to land low, which I probably will do now I've said it, because then the cue ball's going away from me. However, I don't know if I can swing it round and get it over here. We shall see. Should be okay. Mr. Five, oh, I've played this nice. Get the cue ball away from the nine. So anywhere past this line, because I don't want to be hampered queuing again. Often that kind of winds you up, doesn't it? So this is straight, just little draw shot. Stay still. This shaft feels okay now. Now, two options. In one of my previous videos, did if you watched it, did you know you can often leave the chalk or look at these diamonds? So what I mean by that is if I put this line there, I want to be this side of the line. So I know if I land in the middle of this diamond and this diamond area, I will have a shot on my eight. And that is the shot I'm going to play. And that is pretty good. I always knew I had to be this side of the line. Now I can pop the eight and the nine in the same pocket. Wouldn't want to just roll this in and try and get the cue ball there to play the nine in there. See a lot of people doing that. That way, what you do is you pull out the shot because there's more angle there than you need. Have I explained that right? Yeah, I have. So in potting the eight in this corner and the nine in this corner, I can pot this ball with a bit more authority, which lends itself to better cueing. Yeah, just means you can hit it with a bit more, a bit more meat. This nine ball and we're on the hill. Done well, eh? I'm proud of myself. Four two. Or let's finish with a shocker. Oh, I've got to bank this. I can't be picking the white up there. Oh, I've got a shot. It goes. Goes in the side, but would you look at this? The pink four is next. How on earth do we get down there for the pink four? Well, we don't. What I'm going to do is pop the two and just get the cue ball on this path. Anywhere on this path, and I'm going to play a bank shot on the four. I don't really see how I can... Can't cross bank it. Cue ball's going over there. Can't pot it and... Duh, 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 no. So I'm just going to pop the two. Try and get back there for the big banker. Oh, do I pot it here and play? Oh, oh, I can't. Five's in the way. Am I well? Ignore me. Right, pot the two. So it's all on this bank shot. Ooh, I'm going to put the extension on because I need to pound this hard with a bit of right. Because I've not quite come far enough over this is a big shot five balls there so i don't have to do much with the cue ball i'd love the cue ball to have been there that would have been a natural bank because from this diamond to this diamond you always scratch in there but with a bit of pace it'll square up short so ding 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 half there over there half a bit more squarer yeah, this is tough. I've got to hit this very hard with right spin to check it up. Where's Billy the banker when you need him? No, I need to fluke somewhere. I'm not taking a fluke. I'm not taking a fluke if you go in. Oh God, I'm breaking so bad. I am breaking so bad. But with no shot, so the cue ball is coming with me. Six ball does not go. Possible combo. This is me thinking ahead. Goes up in that pocket once I get rid of the one. The five's down here, so that offers 
easier position for the six. So it's not the worst of table layouts. I'm going to put the cue ball here. Nice little angle. Pot it in the corner anywhere on the blue spot. Blue spot is the centre of the table on a snooker table. That's what I am referring to. Key shot in this rack is going to be the five to the six. Now, have I been a bit naive? Is there a case for playing a cheeky knockout, knock the six out? Is that silly? Is that clever? Let me see, do I knock it out? I would have a shot on the three, I could spin it round. I don't know. Put that in the comments. Should I knock the six out? I've got a little bit of an angle, I can force it over. Or, is that naive? What if I got two pieces of chalk in me on for? I think it's naive. I think it's naive. Is it naive? In the comments, let me know. Should I knock the six out or should I not? I'm not going to. I'm going to. What am I going to do? I'm just going to roll this in. Will that come back to bite me in the bum? Now you can just pop this with a bit of right spin, spin off three rails, anywhere in the middle of the table. One, two, three, there she goes. That is lovely, by the way. I played a similar shot at the World Cup of Pool with Darren, actually, for this. He said he'd have played it off too, but he practices like a maniac, so he's confident of flowing it off the two. I am not, because I feel like if I go off two, I'm going to end up there. So I'm going to stun it off here and just land there, just like that. I did the exact same shot at the World Cup of Pool. But can I do it on YouTube where the heat is on? This is real pressure. Kill! Took a little bit of a bounce, but it's not bad, it's not bad. It's a shot on the six into the corner. Oh, it's only in the centre of the pocket. It's only in the centre of the pocket. Oh, that was nice. Off the third. A little top thing, stun run through. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Now I can just pull this back with left hand English for the nine in the opposite corner. This is for the win, guys. This is for the win. The lights are a little bit more. Got a little bit giddy. Stay still. Deliver the cue through. Nice. And Bonnie for the win. And there she is. Carlito 5. The Ghost 3. And there it is, I have beat the Ghost, five, racks to three. Usually I'd expect to win five, one, I would take, because you're always going to get a funny little layout when you play the Ghost. So you're not always going to beat the Ghost five, zero. I went two, zero down, missed an absolutely shocking nine ball, and then made a clanger mistake in the next rack. But I dug deep, and as the match went on, I got a little bit more relaxed. And that's what happens. So what did we take from this episode? One, don't ever go and play a match without practicing because you're not going to feel yourself on the cue. It's going to feel like somebody else's arm and somebody else's cue. So always warm up. And two, never drink latte before you play a match. I was shaking like a dog. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the share. I'll see you in the next one.